a wagon wheel is marshmallow and in some cases jam sandwiched by biscuit and coated in chocolate. Every year in the UK, we devour 125 million of them. And it's the Burdens factory in South Wales that has to satisfy our insatiable appetite for these marshmallow-filled treats. Nearly a thousand wagon wheels a minute fly off the production line 24 hours a day, five days a week. The wagon wheel journey starts here in the flower loft. And it's a journey that Steve Norris has been watching for over 35 years. So this is the area of what we call the flower loft. This is where all your bulk ingredients from your main silos outside feed through to the mixers. Keeping the shelves stocked with wagon wheels requires 100 tons of flour and 15 tons of sugar each week. And the dry mixture in the flower loft needs to get oily and fatty. 384 kilos of it are sent downstairs to the continuous mixer to be blended with 94 kilos of palm oil, water and glucose. So at this point, what is crucial is to make sure that temperature is right and all the ingredients are right. If we don't get it right there, we cannot process it down the line. And on the exit of that mixer, you can then see we produce dough. The fresh dough heads from the mixing room to the machine shop to be rolled and cut into biscuits. It's spread out across a web conveyor. In your web, we're spreading the dough out equally across the web to make sure that we fill the hopper correctly. If we don't fill the hopper correctly, we'll then have patchy biscuits. Patchy biscuits? We wouldn't want that, Steve. The hopper drops the dough onto a series of rollers. This giant brass roller weighs around 350 kilos and cuts out 96 biscuits with every turn. We fill the hopper to a certain level. We're then forcing that dough with the back roller into the moulding roller, producing the approximately 2,000 minutes. It's not that different to baking at home. Once the dough has been rolled and cut into biscuits, you pop them in the oven. Although this oven is probably a little bit bigger than the one in your kitchen, it's nearly 100 metres long, and a conveyor belt means the biscuits are always on the move. This is a three-zone oven. So the first zone gets all your ingredients going, the second zone bake it, and your last zone, your third zone, give you your colour. It's all very high-tech. These cameras are constantly feeding vital info to biscuit boffins in a control room. There's eight screens in total. You've got six screens giving us data back, and you've got two screens of CCTV. And that data on the top screen is showing you the ovality of the biscuit, the length of the biscuit, the colour of the biscuit, the moisture. Once the biscuits are baked, they need to be cooled. Putting mallow onto a piping hot biscuit would make a gooey mess. Of course, this biscuit wouldn't be the legendary wagon wheel without its soft marshmallow sender. Marshmallows were once made from the sap of the marshmallow plant. Nowadays, they blend gelatin with 80 degree water and glucose to create a syrup. By beating air into the syrup, you create a fluffy mallow mix. But to do that, you need a Mondo mixer. So basically, in this machine, our Mondo mixer is the Mondo head. We've got chilling pipes coming in to keep it cool, but that rotates to something like 950 RPM. We control the speed of that to allow more air in or take more air out. It's a bit like making a meringue in the kitchen kind of thing. So this is a sample of the syrup prior to the Mondo. And when we aerate it, and that's the result of it. Burdens have a clever V-belt system that allows the biscuits to bottleneck here without being damaged. Then they're spread out into position, ready to be covered in the lovely fluffy mallow. And today, we're making jammy ones. You were constantly monitoring the biscuits, the shapes, how thick they are, and then we're monitoring the mallow, and we're constantly watching the jam, the temperatures. And so, it, yeah, it's hands-on all the time. On a good day, we just have a really consistent run, whereas we can have a lot of problems, especially during the summertime, that the temperature is a lot higher, so the chocolate takes time to set. Thankfully, that's not proving to be a problem today. We're now depositing the mallow, and in this instance, jam, onto the biscuit. So when that manifold opens, it opens twice. It opens to allow some mallow, 
and then he opens the jam, then mallow again. Wait a minute, Steve. That's three times. So it's one operation, but it's like three stages. Here's a biscuit with a jam inside. Obviously, if we open it up, you can see that the jam is engulfed by the mallow. But then, obviously, when we dig in, the jam is actually inside. This complicated machinery needs constant supervision. Yeah, we do poke a lot of biscuits with sticks. <laughs> we then transfer into the enrober. Nearly 50,000 biscuits an hour move through this machine. So, basically, we are poking the old product with chocolate. The chocolate is heated in a kettle to a precise temperature before being pumped into a machine called the enrober. So once it comes through this process here, we then got two blowers. We've then got licking rollers. We're now removing the chocolate off the bottom to the stick chocolate on there to achieve our target weight. Chocolate's pretty pricey, and making wagon wheels requires 50 tons a week. But thankfully, none of it is wasted. The system returns the chocolate that isn't used back to the kettle within two minutes to be reheated and pumped through the enrober again. So it's taken 12 minutes to there. We're now into the chocolate cooler, seven minutes to pack it. And so the wagon wheels are ready for the best stage of the whole process, eating. They just need to be wrapped and packaged. <laughs> We've just come out of the chocolate cooler and we're now splitting off. We've got four legs into the packing hall. Four lanes per wrapping machine. And it seems that heavy lifting can make even clever machines temperamental. The guy's working on the B-belt. They're looking at the mallow hanging out, full coverage of chocolate, big feet on them. They're looking at the product quality. The biscuits are wrapped individually and then packaged into sixes, or for the shops with the hungriest customers, eights. So we've now moved from the packing area to the case packing area. You can see the one arms are collating the product together, then the robot arm, the vacuum arm, then transfers it from the collating into the case itself. Quality control is incredibly important. Obviously, the line's very big out there, and we produce massive volume. So by doing the hourly checks, at least if you do find an issue, you can actually hold that within an hour, and maybe get it right then for the next hour. I think it's good sometimes to eat your products. It's nice to actually see them in store as well. The first thing I do when I go into any supermarket is go and look at our products on the shelf, just to make sure everything's good as well. You just can't help it. To satisfy the great British craving for wagon wheels, Burdens produce a whopping 23 million each month. As you can see, we've transferred the product now within our case. So this is our wagon wheel journey, the end. This now goes onto a pallet and goes to our customers. You get 26 pallets on a lorry, and there are 16 lorries full of wagon wheels leaving the factory every week.